good morning everyone welcome to day two of our meditations together oh wow it's so powerful to come here and sit with everyone since i already do these meditations already on my own i've honestly felt a difference between doing them myself and doing them here on live with you. I feel like I'm a lot more concentrated on the intentions generally when I'm live than when I'm doing on my own. I don't know why, but it's working and it's helping me too. So let's keep going. So I'm gonna give like a minute for maybe those who want to join me live to join me live this morning but there's no pressure I know 7 a.m. is early so 7 a.m. is early I love to know are you a morning person or are you an evening person I'm definitely a morning person and it's funny because I went to bed really late last night for me um, which is I don't know maybe like normal for some people to go to bed like at 1 a.m. but that to me is like super late and being a morning person is like such a gift because when you go to bed that late you can still wake up at 6 30 in the morning and be good and be ready to take on the day and I'm definitely gonna take a nap today but <laughs> that's okay that's another time but right now I'm just happy to be here today I wanted to talk about uh, discipline through meditation because we a lot of people and including myself like developing a healthy habit in life to create new patterns, let's say, or new behaviors, or just say like wanting to be better, like better myself or just feel better in my skin, feel better in my day to day. It does take time to get there. And one of the biggest lessons that meditation has taught me is that change does come but it comes through repeated action like a river is never gonna form if the water streams through different paths like it, it has to happen over time gradually by the water flowing through one specific area over and over and over again until a river is created right so it's the same with us when we want to create a pattern or we want to better better ourselves through i don't know any meditation eating exercise getting off our phones uh, reducing technology, going out to nature, whatever your thing is, every single thing needs to be repeated a minimum of a certain amount of times for it to become natural. And then you turn that, that habit into um, something that becomes natural for you. And then you can that becomes something that you can naturally incorporate into your day-to-day -day life and you don't have to do it at that specific time or at that specific day to make it you know happen because it's so natural for you to do it that you'll want to do it in your day it becomes something that you look forward to instead of like you're forcing yourself to do something or you're telling yourself okay we have to do this because it's it's to to bring us to a bigger goal because we've arrived there and that's that's part of the process you know we take it one day at a time and it's the same thing with meditation 
we have to get there one day at a time and it's through repeated practice of sitting on our mats and being present with ourselves that we actually gain results and it's through sitting here and practicing to observe our minds and to practice to become aware of our minds and how our minds work that we actually start to see results because if we don't become aware of what's going on inside of here then nothing is going to change because we need that awareness to tell the parts of our brain that are overwhelming to stop to tell the parts of our brain that are being a little bit silly to stop because we have we have two very important things we have our ego and we have our intuition and the brain functions on the strongest vibe right and most of us our ego is stronger and we have these thought patterns that are gonna take us maybe into fear or into doubt or into protection mode of ourselves that's going to be our ego our ego loves us and wants to protect us and that's great but sometimes our ego is so wanting to protect us that we ignore our intuition and we trust our ego more than our intuition and our intuition it won't be that really strong voice inside of our head our intuition will, depending on who you are, be a softer voice, will be the initial feeling, will be the um, gut feeling that you have. All, all of that is your intuition. And for each person, they'll feel it differently depending on who you are. Some people, it's an inner knowing. For some others, it's a gut feeling and for some others it'll be a trust inside of themselves and wherever your intuition is inside of your body that's what we're trying to train through meditation meditation is a portal is a key a bridge whatever you want to call it to a state of life where we're conscious about how we want to live where we're conscious and aware about our actions about our thoughts and we're aware of our intuition and we're able to live through that space of intuition in in grounding in centering inside of ourselves and we know what is good for us and to get there we need to sit every single day through meditation to get there it's important that we take the time every single day to sit. So I don't want to talk too much today because I know that I could talk about this for hours, but the important thing is that we're here to train ourselves. We're here to discipline ourselves, to come into a space where we feel good, where we feel present, where we feel like we are living our lives and we're not being controlled or we're not being a robot we're just we're in control of our decisions and we're not following our decisions so if you did not watch yesterday's meditation that is okay today we are diving straight into it so grab your pillow your chair make yourself comfortable on the floor or on a chair or something make sure that your spine is straight and that you have some connection to the floor whether it's your feet or whether it's your butt because you're sitting on the floor through a pillow some connection to the floor grab your journal important to always have your journal around um, to write down anything that comes up during the meditation and we are going to get started. I'm going to set my timer, go get ready, and I will meet you here very soon.
six more. Okay, okay. So find yourself in a comfortable seat, crossing your legs on the floor. Your spine is straight. You can close your eyes or find a drishti, a gaze point in front of you. Make sure that it does not move so that your focus can come inwards. However, when it comes to meditation, since we are going inwards, closing our eyes can help us see things clearer inside of us. We are going to take three deep breaths together. Filling our entire lungs with air. Exhale, sight out of your mouth. Release your jaw. Release your shoulders. One more breath. Filling your entire lungs. And exhale, release. Notice yourself getting heavier and heavier. One more time, deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Relax, release. Taking a few moments now to just feel yourself right here, right now. Feel yourself connected to the floor, connected to the earth. With every breath that you take, you feel yourself slow down. Your shoulders are getting heavier. And when you're ready, we're gonna step into the observer's seat. So for the next 10 minutes, we're just going to observe ourselves. We're going to stay with our breath, feeling with our breath, but also become aware of our thoughts. Become aware of maybe where our mind takes us during the meditation. Maybe become aware of everything that is going on inside of us. And if our mind does manage to take us away from this observer seat, away from this presence, gently come back to your breath. Come back to your body every single time. It's okay if you get taken away, but just come back to your body, come back into this observer seat and just pay attention. Like what was that thought that took me away from my presence? and come back to sitting, come back to breathing. And at the end of 10 minutes, I will let you know when time is up and we'll slowly come out of the meditation together.
slowly take a deep inhale, filling your entire lungs with air. And exhale, let everything go. Gently start to bring movement back into your body. You can give yourself a nice big stretch. And then when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Welcoming light back into your vision. Mm. Take this moment to just look around you. Look at everything that you have created for yourself. Look at the life that you hold. You have created all of this for you. And you can change it in any way you want or you can keep it just the way it is. But you have the power. I really encourage you to sit down and journal a little bit about what came through today. If you noticed any patterns, maybe thoughts that came up, distractions, anything that really just happened during the meditation, just write it down and it'll be a re become a reminder for you so that tomorrow when you practice it again, you are more aware of your patterns. You are more aware of what your mind might do and you're ready for it. So thank you so much for joining me for day two meditation. It is such a pleasure to be here and I will see you all tomorrow morning for day three of our 30 day meditation series. Have a beautiful day. If I can, it's not, it's